Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright, and today I'm going to be taking you through the top 10 WordPress plugins for SiteSpeed in 2020. So first, let's look at why SiteSpeed is important, and then I'll take you through some of those paid and free WordPress plugins for SiteSpeed. So Google has told us in the past that SiteSpeed is important for search ranking. Um, they haven't told us how much, but they've told us that for users, websites need to be fast. Um, and since this is sort of a more tactile thing that publishers can actually do to improve their search ranking, um, I think a lot of publishers have latched onto it as having incredible site speed for their website. Um, and it doesn't really help that Google has this new performance badge for a site's load time as the page loads and that this new search console report, um, it seems to validate those concerns. Um, so there are a lot of plugins out there for site speed, these top 10 that we recommend. These plugins were taken from a list from BuiltWith and or have an 80% or more five-star review. Um, a lot of these plugins have similar features that you're going to see. Um, there's a whole slew of caching optimizations, crawling, lazy loading, minifying, deferring, optimizing HTML, JavaScript, CSS. Uh, all sorts of CSS and image optimizations, preloading, database optimization, CD and support, and emoji disable. And of course, they all kind of vary in between, but a lot of them are going to have those similar features. So let's dig in. First up, we have WP Super Cache. Uh, it is the most popular speed optimization plugin for WordPress, according to BuiltWith, um, and it has over 2 million active installations. Uh, the plugin generates static HTML files from your WordPress blog, um, and after that HTML file is created, your web server will serve that file instead of the WordPress PHP scripts, which often take a lot of time to load, and that's why your site would be slower. Um, nearly 100% of visitors will be served the HTML file instead. Um, they have three different settings depending on how comfortable you are with editing PHP. Auto-optimize is another site plugin that has over a million active downloads and was the second most popular WordPress optimization plugin across um, the entire internet. Uh, this plugin has a lot of the features that I've mentioned above with the minimifying, the lazy loading, deferring script, removing emojis, etc. Um, it also has an extensive API that allows publishers to tailor optimize more specifically, um, but you will have to have another plugin for caching. And as we know, the more plugins on your WordPress site, the slower it's going to be because it has to load all of them. And a lot of plugins, even for site speed, will slow your site down a little bit just because it is a plugin. Third on the list is Lightspeed Cache. Um, it has over 800,000 active downloads. Um, and it includes a lot of those features as well, like server level caching, lazy loading images, crawlers, minification. Um, fourth on the list is WP Rocket. It's a paid WordPress website optimization plugin. Um, it has a lot of features as the other plugins, um, multiple caching features, binification, deferring JS, and it includes a CDN. WP Fastest Cache also has over 1 million active installations and 95% of the reviews that are left on it are five star. So uh, it seems to have a lot of good reviews. People seem to like it. Um, it does have a lot of the same features as the other ones with the minifying and preloading the cache, but it is highly rated. Then WP Rocket has another one, which is Lazy Load by WP Rocket. And this is specifically for displaying images or iframes on a page, um, only when they are visible to the user. So as the user continues to scroll, uh, those frames will then begin to load rather than loading all at once, which takes a lot of time, um, hence making your site speed slower. Now the plugin works on thumbnails, images within content, widget text, avatars, smileys, and iframes. Um, it's mainly for pairing with other plugins that don't have lazy loading as a feature. Um, W3 Total Cache has over 1 million active downloads as well. It mainly is a lot of caching, uh, hence the name. Uh, it caches pages, posts, CSS, JavaScript, feeds, search results, database objects, objects, fragments, and statistics. Um, and it includes some of those other site speed features as well, but it's mainly focused on caching. Um, this one's kind of funny, WP Smush is an image optimization WordPress plugin, um, over 1 million active installations, and 90% of their reviews are five star. Um, it has a lot of those basic features as well. You get the general lazy loading, directory, smush, and incorrect image size detection. 
Ninth on the list is Cache Enabler. Um, it also creates static HTML files and stores them on the server's desk. It also has uh, a lot of those caching features and minification features. So a lot of those are kind of similar. Um, there are ones that seem to specialize in certain things like lazy loading or caching. Um, the last one on our list is the Site Speed Accelerator. Um, it's a bigger tool than just a plugin, but it is accessible through the Zoic WordPress plugin. Um, so you just integrate with Ezoic through the WordPress plugin and you have access to the SiteSpeed Accelerator um, seven day free trial. The product guarantees a PageSpeed Insight mobile score of over 80, so that means your desktop is definitely guaranteed. Um, and it uh, works with any CMS, it doesn't just have to be WordPress. Um, it's also unique because it includes a lot of site speed features, um, which include moving critical CSS to the head tag, removing unused CSS, lazy loading, resizing images, next-gen formats, static asset cache policy, pre-connect origins, script delay, add delay, reducing CPU intensive tasks, delaying loading of social widgets, and URL rules. But along with all those, it is completely customizable. The product itself comes with three different settings within the tool that you can choose and it'll auto select certain aspects of site speed based on how comfortable you are with the settings um, or you can create a custom version so you can save as many versions of site speed as you want to test and it's just easy to activate and deactivate uh, which version you want to try with just a click um, and then you can even preview how your site loads and looks before you ever go live with it so there's a preview button um, you can see how your page loads you can double check that everything's loading correctly complete control or hands off as you want to be. The SiteSpeed Accelerator also uses real artificial intelligence. So the longer you have it installed, the better SiteSpeed decision it makes. It's continually learning by visitors coming to your page. And that means that your SiteSpeed keeps improving over time. So let's say that you integrate with SiteSpeed Accelerator and you're at a 91. Over time, it will continually make better decisions so that you are getting closer and closer to a 100 SiteSpeed score. And that's it for the best WordPress plugins for SiteSpeed in 2020. If you're interested in looking at these plugins, the links are below the video. Also have a blog link down there that kind of discusses all of that I've gone over and you can get more information on those plugins there. Um, thanks for joining us on another episode of Ezoic Explains.